who has two thumbs and loves movies. The sky. Hello, movie lovers. I hope you do enjoy the video. Bob for Bob's movie review here, and today I bring you my review of Blue Beetle. I want to thank Warner Brothers for sending this one over for review. I personally don't know anything or before this movie had ever heard of Blue Beetle, so I really didn't know what to expect going into it. But let me present to you my review. Blue Beetle, the latest offering from Warner Brothers in the DC Cinematic Universe, introduces audiences to a relatively lesser known character. And like you, I was not familiar with Blue Beetle either. However, this film manages to carve out a unique and engaging narrative, making it an interesting addition to the superhero genre. The story revolves around a young man who returns home from college to find his family in dire straits, with his father having suffered a heart attack and their home at risk of being lost. The film takes its time to establish the family dynamic and the challenges they face, which adds depth to the characters and makes you genuinely care about their plight. The initial setup, while important for character development, is admittedly slow, with minimal action in the first hour. However, this deliberate pacing allows for more profound connection with the protagonist and his family. The pivotal moment comes when the protagonist crosses paths with a younger woman employed by what appears to be an evil corporation. Their interaction leads to the discovery of a powerful scarab, which grants him the abilities of the Blue Beetle. This is where the story truly takes off, as our hero grapples with learning to control newfound powers, a process that may remind viewers of the Iron Man suit adaptation. The film hits its stride in the second half, where the action sequences become more prominent and engaging. The well-executed action scenes are a visual treat, and the incorporation of light humor adds a layer of entertainment to the mix. Some of the characters are quite likable, further enhancing the overall experience. Visually, Blue Beetle is a standout with its crisp 4K presentation and use of bright neon colors that make the screen pop. The production team has done an excellent job in crafting a visually appealing and aesthetically pleasing film. In conclusion, Blue Beetle may start slow, but it finds its rhythm and identity as the story progresses. It introduces us to a fresh character within the DC universe and delivers a solid story of a young man's journey to protect his family and take down an ominous corporation. While the initial setup may test your patience, the second half offers more action-packed and enjoyable experience. Overall, Blue Beetle is a good addition to the superhero genre, and I give it a 3.5 out of 5 rating for its character-driven narrative and entertaining second half. If you have seen this one, love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. I really hope you did enjoy the review. If you did, I would appreciate it so much if you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.